Hello and welcome back. Today I'm here with this um, special effects makeup video on my roommate Ariana. Um, so I was a bit depressed after holiday, so I decided to shoot her on the head. Um, I hope you like the video and let's get started. To realize the bullet wound, I'm using a third degree, which is a silicone based product. It comes from America, it's super used in the special effects, um, and uh, it's made by two parts, A and B, which you have to mix together. Um, and I choose the color medium, it comes in different color, so you mix both parts equally um, on a plate. Um, uh, you have a little bit of time to work the product onto the skin before it dries. It usually takes about five minutes. So I'm applying the products directly on the forehead, on the side of the forehead, and I'm helping myself with a little wooden spatula just to blend the product. Uh, now I'm making the wound with the, the metal spatula and I'm blending all the edges into the skin because obviously I don't want any sharp edges so it's gonna look the makeup is gonna look natural so it doesn't look like there is um, like a hole or a gap between the actual bullet and the skin Basically, all I'm doing now is flattening the edges around the wound with the wooden spatula and I'm helping myself with my fingers as well uh, and I'm still waiting for the product to dry. Now that the product is almost dry, I'm defining my wound even more with the wooden spatula and I'll start to color it. So I'm using a Supra color palette from Krylan and I start with the black color and I'm putting it into the middle of the wound. This is gonna give us the impression of depth and every time we do a special effect makeup it's always better to use at least three colors cause it's gonna give depth to the makeup and it's gonna look three-dimensional so it's not gonna look flat. Obviously, if you use just one color, it's gonna look flat, like there's no life to it. So I'm stippling the color around the wound as well, with the same brush, and I'm using the magical sponge, <laughs> that's how I call it, it's actually a stipple sponge, uh, which is used a lot in special effects, because it just breaks the makeup, so it's not gonna look flat, it's not gonna look uniform, because when we do special effects makeup, all we wanna do is break all, all the rules we know in beauty makeup because everything is gonna look ugly obviously and it's not gonna be perfect so now I'm passing with the red color around the wound always from the Supra palette and on the edges of the wound as well And I'm gonna use again this stippling sponge just to blend everything so it looks like the color comes within the skin because obviously the skin is bruised. Now I keep adding some more color with the Bluebird palette from triage and these are um, colors which are gonna be activated only by using alcohol so I'm using IPA um, isopropyl alcohol to activate the color and I'm using the yellow one 
always with the brush I used before and I keep sippling it around the wand um, just as much as I like it but don't go too far So I keep playing with my fantasy, adding more details to it. Sometimes it's useful to have a real picture to copy, but I think in this case I didn't have one, so I'm just doing what comes at the moment. Always from the same palette I take the beetroot color, which is a dark blood color, and I'm applying it around the wand. What I like about using uh, this palette is that the color is really see-through and it works amazingly on um, silicone products or when you do special effects it looks like this, the color is really sitting into the skin compared to the Supra one which I used before which is a bit more theatrical while this works really good on HD camera as well and when they do movies I sprayed a little bit of alcohol on the sponge and then blend everything together as before. Now also from the same palette I take the color blood on a really fine eyeliner brush and I'm gonna paint some broken veins around so I just let my brush um, move around the wound. I blend again with the sponge. To set the makeup I'm using a transparent powder from Bernay. Now it's time to add some blood and I'm adding a drop in the middle of the wound and I let it fall out. Ma del ciutro shampoo! And after I sprayed some water to make it look fresh, I'm um, adding some more black color to give more depth to the wound and uh, that's the finished wound i hope you like it as always if you do give me thumbs up share the video and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching i see you to the next video bye